Good morning, loves. How y'all doing? I hope you're doing good. Anywho, today I'm kind of doing a fun little project. I mean, y'all gonna be like, child, that ain't no project. But for me, it kind of is. I ain't never done it before, and I think it's an art form. But anyways, I am going to be like prepping and installing a wig. So that's so fun. I'm excited. I'm very excited because the only wig I really ever had was kind of like a costumey level, a La Synthetica. She's not giving melt, no type of like very costumey. You feel me? So not, you know, giving. And I kind of do want to get into wigs and like applying them and just like, I think they're cute. I think they're very versatile, very fun. And my hair is kind of short now and I'm just used to it being longer because for so much of my life, like my hair is literally down to my booty crack, like long. I'll probably like insert some pictures or whatever, but kind of missing the long hair. But I also know my hair grows kind of fast. It's only going to take like a few years for it to probably get back to that same length. So not sweating it. But in the meantime, in the meantime, you know, I want to switch it up. I want to have a little bit of length back. You feel me? And also, I'm a person who I do not like dyeing my hair, even if I go to a professional, like who knows how to do it. I'm not really a big fan of that because if you don't like it or if you do like it, and like the color your original hair color so I'm snitch on you from your roots and you have to like get it touched up and do all the things and child I'm not here for that okay <laughs> like it's just it seems like a drag to me so wigs seem like the best not compromise but seem like the best way to get the you know best of both worlds like the styles and the hair colors that I would want to do but without the permanency okay so that's exciting and i'm gonna start prepping it today because i'm gonna let it air dry i'm not gonna i'm not gonna what you call it blow dry it because if i want to apply heat to it i want that to be like when it's fully ready to go on my head but i'm excited i'm excited I will show you the units and child this ain't no <laughs> this isn't like a glamazon tay freaking 500 dollars wig for no child it's not it's a real beginner wig it's like less than a hundred dollars in the, in that range but less a little bit less than a hundred dollars so very like mid-level but hey it's not a lost synthetica this time. It's a real human hair wig. So we're stepping our game up a, just, just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. And you know, don't judge me too harshly, okay? If you're a professional wig slayer, then kudos to you. Clap, clap. But let me let me just try this. Let me get this one off. Let me try, you know? And if I feel like I like it, which I do feel like I'm going to enjoy doing this. I'll just add to the collection, you know, give me a few wig heads and some better wigs and better other products. Yeah. So let's start the process. Okay. Okay, so this is the bag that the hair came in, but I already took the hair out of it. And it came in like a little netting. You know how I like a cafeteria, like or a cooking like fast food, fast food or whatever they just have that like netting so your hair don't fall like into the you know what i'm saying so i had that little netting on it and this is the hair that i got so we gonna see but i there are i think there's something else that was in here so let me just take that out let's see yeah okay so two wig caps pretty basic freaking beauty store ass wig cap none to write home about but still definitely nice to be included and the obligatory 
set of lashes in Sean. I'm not even gonna lie to you, these are kind of cute. So if you see me in them, child, you know where I got them from. <laughs> Anywho, I'm gonna actually show you the units now. The actual heel. Okay, so it's kind of not letting me show you how I want to show you, but this is the actual unit. I think it's pretty, again, like human hair and all of synthetica, so cheers to that. Also, if you hear the dishwasher in the background, like that's just life going on, so I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but let me put this back down and let me show you a little bit. But yeah, let me show you the inside of the cap. Can you show it? Can you show it? I mean, it is kind of dark, but whatever. But you know, it's like your basic. But it's pretty much like your basic, you know, combs in the actual like head and then the back to like secure it. And then the lace. And that looks decent, you know? Like I put it up against my skin and look like it'll be fine obviously gonna cut the lace and all that and the baby hairs are kind of like pre-cut a little bit but i don't know if you can really see that super well focusing kind of good or not but i might fix that probably and let me show you like how the lace actually looks on my hands and it looks pretty good like this is my hand underneath and then this is my like oops We can focus yeah this is my hand underneath so like the lace looks pretty good obviously you're gonna trim that down but i think it's promising and to be honest this hair kind of reminds me of my own hair when i have it straightened so going to comb it out wash her condition her let her air dry and I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, so gonna start the process now. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. All right, see you in a little bit.
showed you the washing and the combing out of my of the hair. Uh oh, something gets out so light up. Oh yeah, that sucks. Um but this is the final result. Uh, go easy on me. It's my first time and yes I know like I could totally like fix the part up a little bit and probably like put foundation in the part and maybe little more baby reaction but either way like it's not snitching on me i think it looks cute and we went to the art museum the contemporary arts center and i've been and the exhibits have been better i guess it's just whatever they have showing this at this time is kind of weak in my opinion but it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful day and we're gonna go to the cincinnati art museum where i can actually really see some art that i like and enjoy that's the only thing like i hmm, that color is very popular girl your coochie finna be out <laughs> like child be careful this girl she has on a dress that is so short like one false you step your leg too long and walk in it whoop she out girl anyways so i wanted the cincinnati art museum i don't think i can film in there i could film everywhere but not there might take some pictures outside because that the pictures outside are actually pretty good there's like this nice seating area we'll see we'll see but yeah, check back in with you later. Bye. You're good, babe. <laughs> hey guys, so back again. The art museum was fun, but now it's like probably a few days later than than what y'all last saw me. Anywho, finally getting around to packing for the baby moon. I'm so excited. Okay. But the next next time you see this this little pretty face, we gonna be heading out to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm excited. I'll see y'all. See y'all either on the way or there. Okay. Bye. Peace. Mm -hmm.